my dad knew a contractor that had been a friend of his who had also come from the other side, and I got a job with him. And this was the trade that I was uh, working at to be was a carpenter. But I, while I was working at this, I was training, training very, very hard because in my heart, not that I didn't appreciate the opportunity to become a, a, an apprentice carpenter, but I, I was very, I craved and I was very hungry for something more than that. Ever since was little, he always liked to work. In fact, he went to cut grass in the summer, and he did so much work. The owner always needed less helpers. Then when he uh, went to become a carpenter, every night he would come home and tell my mother that he didn't like that trade, he just wanted to be a wrestler. I had that in mind from the beginning, and I kept it a lot to myself because I didn't want to be laughed at. But when I started to train, I did it religiously, and then I, I always look at myself to see if I could see some, if I could see the bones disappearing, if I could see some flush. But it just gave me such great enthusiasm to, to do more, to do more. And then as I actually would hear a compliment from somebody say, hey, what are you doing? You're, you're get, and if I hear something like that, I'd say, oh, God, it's working. And it just, well, I became a, a maniac at it. <laughs> Yeah, my best, uh, I set a world record in 1959, I did 565 pounds, that was my all-time best. The wrestling was the thing. Number one was to be really good at it, that was the, the main thing. I always had this thing about me, Bill, I always, anything I ever got into, I wanted to be as great as I possibly could be in it. I wanted to, I didn't want to reach a point and ever have it been said that, boy, had he had a little more determination, a little more uh, discipline about himself, he could have gotten here. I, I, I feel that everywhere I've gotten, it was the, with the, with all the, with, you know, with my maximum.